Good morning, Cyber Warriors. I'm going to go over how to build the script. How do you build a script? It's just simply, a script is a series of commands that you're going to run and execute against the system. Uh, the most basic script that is taught out there is Hello World. So we're going to write host hello world. Simple. This is the most basic form of writing a program. You are giving a command to execute against the system and it executed it. So there are a lot of different tools you can use in order to write scripts within a system. Um, there are some people who say that the only way to do it is old school in Notepad, where you write post L good grief. Sure, it works. You can do it that way. Absolutely, nothing wrong with it. But there are tools in this world that are designed to help you do things a little more intelligently. There's no visual indication within regular notepad of you screwing something up. So there's a new another way to do that. Grab this, go and do notepad plus plus it's also just a text editor you put in a piece of text it looks just like notepad but notepad plus plus has the ability to color code in accordance with programming so you take the language and it's not going to be swahili you know chinese russian you know, you're not going to be able to translate into different languages that way, but these are all programming languages. And what we want to do is select PowerShell. Did you see what happened? It actually changed because it recognized this is a command, and this is something that you're telling it to do. Right? So we can actually put in a comment in there and it will recognize that as the proper formatting for a comment and this is a perfectly acceptable way to do uh, scripting as well it provides all of the wonderful things that you need in order to have a better visualization of it and depending on how beefed up and the modules you have enabled in your uh, uh, notepad plus plus if you do a parenthesis sometimes it will do the close parentheses for you in the same with the squiggly do and squiggly don't uh, so it's just a matter of some of these things give you those types of functionalities my personal preference is to actually go and, and write in the PowerShell ISE the ISE gives us a lot of the different functionalities it shortcuts Post as you can see my typing is not the greatest today and it also gives us uh, hints options and features that you wouldn't have seen otherwise uh, no new line separator foreground color background color foreground color okay so it gives you all the different options for the foreground color that you can actually do let's take a look at it that's pretty cool isn't it it's a simple way to be able to go in and show you how to format properly it shows you all of the wonderful options that are available within PowerShell and the scripting that is in the environment there so there are multiple different venues for you to actually go in and write your scripts my personal recommendation is using ISE and if you can't use ISE use PowerShell uh, not PowerShell excuse me notepad plus plus um, the, those are the best pair of options that I personally use your personal preference may be something completely different and that's perfectly okay short video that's all I got for this one
So go out there, write a command, save it, and it's now a script. That's all I have for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.